1947 Plymouth P15 Coupe. It's got drum brakes all the way around. We're going to get rid of the front drum brakes and do a disc conversion. All right, to get the drum off, you do not stick a screwdriver up here and start bending your backing plate. You will never get the fucking thing off. You also don't take a hammer and start hitting it. Go ahead, knock your grease cap off. Grab a pair of side cutters. Pull your cotter pin out. Twenty seven millimeter socket. Go ahead and take your nut off. Take your washer off. Pull your drum off with your spindle. Ta da! Since that brake line is going to break anyways and you have to replace it, go ahead and cut it. Go ahead and pop your brake shoe springs off and pull your springs and your shoes off. Okay, now on the back side, you're going to have three three nuts you got to take off. One behind here, one behind here, one behind here, a 7 8 wrench. Go ahead and take off the nuts. After you got all your nuts off the back side, go ahead and wiggle your cover. It should come right off. If not, just smack it with a hammer. Your steering linkage in the back should just pop off. Like that. Just let it hang there. Take the whole backing plate off and move on to the next step. Alright, so your next step would be putting this bracket on. You want the threaded side to go towards the back. That's where your caliper is going to mount. You're going to line it up on these holes here. And this is hard to do one handed, but you're going to want to take these bushings and put them between your spindle and your bracket. Now your bolts. Small bolt goes up top, long bolt goes towards the back, and then your middle guy goes uh, towards the front. So after you get all your bolts in, it should uh, kind of look like that, right there, and we'll just go ahead and slide it on in. Now before you go sliding it all the way in, you're going to want to take your steering linkage, line it up, and slip your bolts and your bracket the rest of the way through. Alright, now that the bracket's on, obviously, go ahead and throw your nuts on. Alright, so next take your hub. Take your bearing out, take some grease, slap it in your hand. And just roll it, just keep rolling it. Until you see the grease coming out from the inside.
a couple different ways of doing this. You can put grease in your hand and just slap the grease in there if you want. Alright. Go ahead. Take your grease. Smear some around on the inside here. Don't be stingy on the grease. Go ahead, drop your bearing in. Next, you want to take your wheel seal. You want the flat end straight up. Push it in the back a little bit. Get yourself a rubber mallet. Yourself a rubber mallet. Tap it, tap it down until it's flush. As my camera falls, we just tap it down until it's flush. Now that you got your new uh, hub with your bearing in there all greased up, you got your wheel seal on there, go ahead and just slide it on as far back as it go. Then you'll grab your outer bearing that you've greased. There we go ahead and slide that in there. Now, the kit did not come with a new axle nut or anything, so we're going to have to use our old hardware. Go ahead and slide that on. Put your castle nut on. And we are going to tighten it up as tight as we can get it. Okay, that probably won't spin right now. You're going to take it, you're going to back it off to the next, next notch where you can stick your counter pin back in. At that point your bearing should move. Now go ahead, I would recommend getting a new cotter pin. I will put this one in just for demonstration. And then just bend your tabs up so this doesn't back off. Next, you'll take your hubcap that's supplied with it and you'll just tap that on with a hammer. All right, moving on to the next step. Throw our rotor on. All right, next step. We'll throw the caliper on. Gonna need two hands for this, so. All right, now with the supplied hardware, just gonna put it in the back, line it up, and we're gonna thread that in with a 3 eighths Allen. All right, that's what it should look like when it's done. Caliper and a rotor. Now I just got to run a brake hose and uh, run all brand new brake lines with a brand new master cylinder and a brake booster.